Well, we've had a lovely little run into Runcorn. <laughs> As you do. Sunny running. It's been a lovely couple of days. Spent overnight there. I uh, had a quick walk around the town this morning. Not much to see, to be honest, but uh, saw the um, Manchester Ship Canal. And then just the other side of the wall from the Manchester Ship Canal is the Mersey, River Mersey. Well, it's quite interesting, really. It's, there's remnants of the old, the busyness of the old town there. But it looks like it's been abandoned a little bit, really. There's lots of waste ground, isn't there? Yeah. But really interesting. And the only shame of it was this canal is really lovely to cruise down, but there wasn't anywhere to moor or that we, we felt... We just didn't feel happy about mooring until we got right to the end. No. Um, so, yeah, we don't, we don't need to stay any longer, really, than the one day, I think, do we? We feel like no. we've, we've been there, mm. done that. Yeah, so we're heading back now. Um, just going to do this is about six miles long isn't it this stretch of uh, I think the so, yeah. Bridgewater Canal which is actually owned and run by the Manchester Ship Canal Company and it is beautiful it's the canal itself is so clean it is really tidy the towpath is lovely it's just a shame there wasn't any moorings along it isn't it yeah but anyway it's been a nice trip lovely trip and, uh, there's traffic jams all around us. All, there's so many car bridges and road bridges going over this stretch and each one of them has got a traffic jam on it. <laughs> 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 They're all waving to us now. <laughs> <laughs> so that's uh, a little bit about Runcorn. We've got the exciting Anderton boat lift coming up. Really looking forward to that. That's in two days time. We've not done it before, um, and uh, we're looking forward to that. And um, when we get on the River Weaver, we shall stay there for about a week or so, Fran? Yeah, I think so. Just it looks like it's quiet, and it'll be a good place to really chill out. I'm just looking at that sky, Fran, that doesn't look very pleasant. We're not supposed to have rain today. <laughs> oh, um, but anyway, here's a little bit of video from our trip into Runcorn and uh, see you later. Alice in Wonderland, it got narrower and narrower all the way down. 
but lovely coming back out in the sunshine again. Often seems that you go in the tunnel in one, one weather system and you come out in another one. It was really grey and cold on the other side, wasn't it? It was. You come out here and it's uh, beautiful sunshine again. Nice potting shed, Fran. Oh, look at that, yeah. Nice greenhouse, huh? That's proper. Never been on this section of the Bridgewater before. This takes us to Runcorn. We've just stopped off briefly to go to Midland, Midland? Midland Chandlers because uh, we just fancied having natural ropes rather than the nylon so we've just spent our first little bit of money on this boat and changed all our ropes <laughs> to um, hemp. hemp ropes which uh, yeah I don't know some people say they're harder on your hands but we just didn't want more plastic it's not just that these ropes are so. thicker so it's thicker to hold yeah the other ones are a bit thin so and what else did we buy? Oh, fire tools, which we needed because we left the others on the old boat. Um, and a couple of mooring pins, Rich. Uh, three days into our cruising on the new boat and we'd left two mooring pins in the ground somewhere. So keep your eyes open, folks. I think we might um, put our, <laughs> our boat name on these ones so that when we lose them, somebody can return them to us. Shiny new ones, though. <laughs> Anyway, keep cruising. Sunday morning and we're at Saltersford Tunnel and we're just waiting for our slot to go through. We've got a 20 minute slot between half past and ten to the hour. Uh, so chance for a cup of tea and a biscuit. Yeah, he's already on the back of the boat. <laughs> We've been up to the junction with the Bridgewater Canal and did the few miles into Runcorn, stayed overnight there, which was, wasn't too bad, was it? It's an interesting it right. town. The canal was lovely, actually, wasn't it, on the way into Runcorn itself, but there wasn't um, really anywhere to stop, anywhere to moor up um, that we felt comfortable with, so we ended up going right to the very end of the arm, turned around, quite a tight turning, wasn't it, for your first, first um, yeah, it was. wind on Laura Maisie, but you did really well, um, moored up there for the night. Um, there wasn't much to see there. We had a little walk around yeah. town, didn't we? Saw the Manchester Ship Canal and beyond that was the uh, River Mersey. Yeah. Uh, very interesting all the same. But now we're, as I said, waiting to go through the tunnel and in a couple of hours we've got a booking to go down the Anderton boat lift. Hoping this weather's going to hold because the forecast has been a little bit iffy and yeah. there's lots of rain and it gets really cold when it's raining. This is gorgeous. So if this holds out for a couple of hours it yeah, should be good. Be so that takes us down onto the River Weaver. So we're going to spend a week on the River Weaver cruising up and down. It'll be yeah, great. We, yeah. How long has it been since we've been on a river? Well, I think probably the last time we were on river, it was all in flood. That was before we were married, ages and ages ago. <laughs> 18 months. <laughs> <laughs> well, it feels like ages and ages. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was up at, uh, really. in Yorkshire, wasn't it? <laughs> it was. Oh, I just heard what you said. <laughs> what a rotter. <laughs> but yeah, it was all flooded. and So it's been fine. There's not been very much rain. There's a lot of rain forecast this week, but I'm sure it will be fine. It looks really pretty on the river. And the book says there's lots of quiet places out of the way. Um, and that's what we like. So stay tuned. We're going to be meeting up with a couple of other vloggers <laughs> narrowboat types. Wonder if you can guess who. <laughs> <laughs> so see you later. Bye.
You cannot see from one end of the tunnel to the other. That's why they have a timed uh, session to go through. There's a double kink in the tunnel. But uh, when you think about all the land subsidence around these parts due to salt mining, it does make you a little bit nervous when you're going through tunnels here. Anyway, just a little bitty one to go through now and then we're at Anderton. Class, isn't she? Um, This stretch of canal has been closed for I think a couple of months now because there's been a landslip and they've only just reopened it and it's now got single um, file boat traffic going through it. It's all narrowed off. I think it's going to be some time before it's all cleared and properly open. We've just been asked to go out, go through slowly on tick over. I don't think we can go much slower than this. But, um, So they've uh, dug out a channel in the canal for single boats to pass. Uh, as you can see from the yellow bollards, we have to go through there. And there's two Canal and River Trust volunteers to uh, monitor the throughput. And uh, as I was approaching, I was told to go into Tickover. I already was in Tickover, so it just, uh, I don't know, what's the point? Especially of two people. <laughs> How many boats have been through today? You reckon it's about three. <laughs> and well, it's one o'clock. <laughs> at least you can get to read the newspaper, I suppose, in the sunshine. I think we might say this every year, but I don't think I've ever seen so much wild garlic. This bank goes all the way down to the river and it's just completely covered with white flowers of the garlic. And the smell, the whole air is infused with the perfume of it, really smells 